Welcome back to the channel. So I have a Zen unboxing. So this is the Zen 856i, which is a kind of like a watch buys exclusive. Um, very cool. They make this in a, a UTC, like a GMT watch. Um, and then also like this, um, it looks like a 556i. So, but it's a little bit bigger. So it's, it is special and it does have a, it's a complete tegumented uh, case. Um, and you do have, let's see, I've got box and papers. It is a used watch. I picked this up from CW Watch Shop, um, but it's like brand new still. So if you look here, uh, 2020 watch buys, um, 856i. But um, see, so you can get it with the GMT function with Arabic numerals. Mine has the just standard indices, but um, just beautiful. Zen makes great watches. Um, I miss my Damasco that I had, and um, when I saw this and, and wore it, I really liked the design of this watch because I used to have the um, 556. I've had a few of those, and I and I also had a 103 once as well, but um, I just like the, or the 104, I just like the design. So here is the uh, 856 on the pillow here. Let me take it off. Now this one just comes with the leather strap. I'd like to acquire the... Um, the bracelet, they're around 400 bucks later on, but, um, and it's fully, uh, tegmented as well. Or, um, so yeah, drilled lugs, just a beautiful watch, satinized finished. This does, this is made from their, uh, SUG, um, factory, which I believe Zen is involved with. I don't know if it's their part owner or not, but, uh, they do make, uh, cases in, uh, Glashuta in Germany. Uh, for Zen and I believe some other brands, but uh, a lot of technology. This is just an unboxing, just to kind of go over an overview of this watch. But um, you know, you have the little capsule heel here, which is for you know uh, keeping moisture out of the case. When this turns real dark blue, that means it's it's gotten all the moisture out. Then you'll have to have that replaced. So there there's all kinds of um, you know the hardened case. Um, there's all kinds of tech in this this particular model. Um, and that's what makes it so special. But what I like about this is you've got the design of the 556, but it's a bigger case. So the 556 is a 38.5 millimeter case. This one's a 40. Um, and another cool thing about this particular dial is it doesn't say automatic across the bottom there, which I like also. I kind of thought that was always cluttered and, and just kind of, you know, you know, redundant. Why put it there? You don't even need it there. You know, it's an automatic. And then your date, instead of it being here at the three o'clock, it's over here at the four and your, you, your indices are just, what I really like about Zen is they put the dates in, in positions where it does not mess with the indices. So it's the same on both sides. Um, when you, when this thing is, is loomed up at night, I mean, it just, it looks perfect all symmetrical looks good so beautiful hands you got those sword hands stark white on a very inky black dial um, made in Germany down there at the six o'clock date at the four screw down crown and you have the a Zen signed crown it's an S and it's funny I always said this about these Zens is it doesn't I'm picking up a lot of reflection here but it doesn't look like the Zen on the on the dial <laughs> but uh, it does say Zen so I don't know if that is really the Zen uh, well, no, it's just Zen, yeah. So that's just how they do the, it on their on their crowns, I guess. But drilled lugs, just like the other, mo most of the Zens do have drilled lugs. I don't think the 104 or the 103 style case does, um, but these models do. There is your case back. Um, you got a regular leather strap here, very nice and thick, and then you have a signed buckle. They wear nice. Their leather straps wear very, very nice. Um, here is your case back. Got, got some scratching on the back of the case. Not really scratching anywhere else. So I don't know the how the previous owner got all that. That's kind of weird. I don't know where he was laying it on, but it is a 200 meter water resistant watch. Um, and it does have anti-magnetic properties. You know, when I look it up, I think it was like 80,000 AM, which is only a thousand Gauss. So it, it sounds like a lot, but when you, Equal that to Goss, it's only a thousand, so it's pretty basic to be honest. But uh, I think it's more than most watches, which is good. So if you're going in an airport or going in a place like that where you might, you know, get it magnetized or something, it's, it should prevent that. But 
When I do the full review, we'll go over all the tech. I just wanted to kind of show you guys, this is a sapphire crystal and it is uh, double, it does have double AR coating, top and bottom. So that's another cool thing about the way Zen does her watches with that anti-reflective coating is it's almost like you can touch the hands. So they do a great job with that. Very beautiful. Nicely, nicely done. They've been around since 1960, I believe. So very good company in Germany. Very, you know, German watchmaking is uh, very high quality. Uh, there's a good, lot of great brands out there, so. But uh, it is running the SW300, I believe, which is a kind of like a ETA 2892, which is thinner and higher, pretty much high, a little higher in than the regular 2824. So there's Salita SW200. This one is actually a little bit better. And it is like running at zero right now. It hasn't lost or gained any time. So it's doing very, very well. The dimensions, I'll just show you anyway. I know it's becoming a long video and this is just an unboxing, but you know, you get ex excited about this stuff. So the, from side to side, we're right at 40. Our thickness, which the movement really helps is at 10.7 because that 2892 SW300 is a very thin movement. Um, and then tip to tip, we're coming in at 46, almost 47. And then you got 20 mil lugs. So perfect dimensions in my opinion. Um, that's, you can't ask for anything else. On the wrist, it just looks perfect. Let's uh, throw it on the wrist real quick. So there it is on the wrist. It looks perfect. And then let's do a quick loom shop any shot anyway, right? Boom. So this has got blue loom. Gorgeous loom on this one. I like it. I haven't seen a Zen with blue loom yet. And there it is. Wow. Super bright. Anyway, there you have it, guys. So this is the Zen unboxing. The 856i. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and watch out for that review on this watch coming soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.